This week, we have the date advancement results come out, SecDef tapped as a recommendation for our next CNO, and SecNav changed the game on basically everything. First, active duty and reserve petty officer advancement quotas come out Monday. The results will be released to COs on Wednesday, and they'll post online the next day. Next, SecDef tapped Admiral John Richardson, director of the Naval Nuclear Propulsion Program, to be our next CNO. If confirmed, he'll take command following Admiral Greenert's retirement this fall after 40 years of naval service. Now here's the big SecNav personnel rollout with a few clips from my interview with him. First, forget about Navy mandatory GMT. It's gone. You think I'm joking? I'm not. And neither is SecNav. GMT is ending. First of June, no more GMT as we know it. Next, get used to calling the CAP program the MAP program and get ready for it to start applying to shore commands as well as sea commands. As important as that program was at sea, it's equally important on shore. Secretary Mabus is also going to ask Congress for the career intermission program to have 10 times the yearly quotas, 400 vice 40. And he's also asking a double maternity leave from six weeks to 12 weeks. So that people won't have to choose between family or having a family and service. Finally, the culture of fitness is here, and what it brings with it is a tangible difference between a PFA score of good and a PFA score of outstanding. Military decorations will be awarded for three consecutive outstandings, patches and eval documentation will all incentivize going above and beyond in fitness. It's not get ready for one, pass it and then get out of shape and then get ready again. It's going to be, be in shape all the time. That's what we need for everybody to do to do their jobs. Finally, for the officers, the golden career path concept is falling away, enabling the Navy to keep and advance its best officers. So that's a lot of really big stuff, but there's still more. Check it out in the wire, and before we wrap up, understand that these changes are all occurring on varied timelines, and for some, the details aren't finalized yet. However, if you send us an honest question, I'll talk to CMP and get you an honest answer. Your early feedback and questions may even impact the execution of these initiatives. Now that's it for this video. For the Chief Naval Personnel, I'm MC1 Fabrizio. Thanks for watching.